Oh, I think that's the best thing I've ever eaten in my whole life. That's so good. <laughs> Welcome back to our kitchen where we show you how to make delicious family friendly recipes. Now with this recipe the slow cooker is doing all the work to cook that pork down so it's lovely and tender and juicy and once it's finished slow cooking we're going to do something with it to take it to a whole new level which in my opinion makes these the best pork carnitas ever. So let's get cooking. Now I've got two kilos, which is about 4.4 pounds of boneless pork shoulder here. I've removed the skin, but don't throw it away. It makes fantastic homemade pork crackling. I've left the fat on the pork shoulder and we're gonna put that straight in the slow cooker. So along with the pork, we're gonna add in one diced onion, five minced cloves of garlic, 120 mils or half a cup of fresh orange juice. It's about the juice of two oranges. Then we're going to sprinkle over two teaspoons of salt, a teaspoon each of black pepper and chili flakes, a tablespoon of dried oregano and two teaspoons of cumin. Now we don't need to do anything else with that. That's going to go straight in the slow cooker. And don't worry that it hasn't got much juice in there. The pork will release juices as it's cooking and we're going to use that later. So that goes in the slow cooker on high for seven to eight hours or on low for nine to 10 hours. After 10 hours on low, that pork is going to be amazingly tender. So remove it from the slow cooker and place it on a chopping board. And then we're going to use two sets of tongs to shred the pork into pieces. And you can discard any pieces of fat as you go. So now we've got this fantastic mountain of juicy shredded pork. We're gonna fry it up to make it lovely and crisp and take that flavor to a whole new level. We're gonna add two tablespoons of oil to a large frying pan and heat over a high heat. Then add that pork in and we're gonna fry it for about eight to 10 minutes, moving it around the pan just a couple of times until you get some lovely crispy bits. Don't move it around too much, otherwise it won't crisp up. Once that pork is lovely and browned and crispy, we're gonna add in a good ladle full or about a cup of those juices from cooking the pork in the slow cooker. We're gonna allow that to bubble for a few minutes and that'll add some extra flavor and juiciness to the pork. Then we're gonna load up some soft, warm tacos and fill it with that crispy pork meat along with some chopped onions, avocado, and a good sprinkling of fresh coriander. And that's how you make the most delicious, tender and juicy pork carnitas ever. I love to serve them up just like this in tacos. And don't forget to serve up some of that extra juice from the slow cooker for dipping. Can't wait to tuck in. Mm -hmm. 